Is editing difficult for you? Is it hard to spot areas of your writing that need to be changed? Then you're going to want to watch this because I'm showing you a free editing tool that's going to make that a lot easier. Slick Write. I'm Suzanne Davis, and I'm an online academic writing tutor. And this is the second video in a series of videos on fantastic free writing tools. The first video was on Hemingway Editor, so if you haven't seen that, definitely check that one out. But today's focus is on SlickWrite. SlickWrite will help you improve your writing so that it is clearer, it's stronger, and it will also help you give your writing more variety. Now you can use SlickWrite with essays, with papers, with blog posts, with short pieces of fiction or nonfiction, almost any type of writing you can imagine. And SlickWrite will look at three main areas of your writing. First, it looks at features, and here it's going to help you with some grammar suggestions. The second area it looks at is structure, and here it looks at really your sentence structure, and then also the sentence variety you have. And then that third main area is vocabulary. So let me show you how that works. And I'm going to use for an example a blog post I wrote on persuasive essays. This is SlickWrite. It's at www.slickwrite.com. And you'll see here you have the choice of trying the demo and that gives you a short tutorial or start writing. So here, the first thing you would do is copy and paste your text right into this box. I already did that with my blog post on persuasive essays. The next thing you want to do is to actually check it. So I'm going to click check up here at the top. And it starts reading my text. And you'll see here that there are three areas features, structure, and vocabulary. So this looks at the features and points out different elements of your grammar that you can change to make your style better. Here you'll see where it's green and that it gives me the description of a wordy or redundant phrase. If I want to know more information about that, I can just click on it and it explains this to me that the phrases make the reading more difficult to understand. You'll see it points out some other things like an adverb, passive voice. Here are things that are underlined in blue. And this says starting word recycled in paragraph. So if I click on that, it says sentences starting with the same word. And I can see here that I used two questions together I did the same thing in this paragraph here, and I began with you, and then the very next sentence I began with you. So I would go through this and I would make the changes that I want to make by going to edit, and you can change it just by deleting or typing in new words. So here, this was where I had that redundant wordy phrase. I'm just taking a lot of out, and the sentence reads, it's challenging finding topics that both excite you and have research you can analyze. So when I finish making all of my changes, I would then click on check again. And you'll see here that that area was changed. The next thing that I would look at is structure. And structure looks at my sentences. And you will see that it's color coded. This sentence in purple is a simple sentence. And Flickwrite also points out how many words are in each sentence. I see here in the green that I have a complex sentence. And then further down, I have a compound complex sentence. And every time it points out how many words I have. What's nice about this is I can look at my whole document and because it's color coded, I can see areas 
where my sentences don't have a lot of variety. Here I have a lot of purple, and this is a lot of simple sentences. Here I have a lot of green, so I have a lot of complex sentences. So I would go back, revise, and, and try and add a little bit more variety to my sentences. The next area that I would check is vocabulary. And I love checking vocabulary with SlickWrite because what it does is it analyzes a section of writing and then tells me how much variety is in that section. So I can find out if I've been really repetitive with my vocabulary. You'll see here that this is a greenish area. When I click on it, it shows me that the vocabulary variety is 68%. And then what's really cool is that it shows the different words that are very common in that section. And I can see here that the most common word was and, and I used that six times. So I could go back into this blog post and I could start changing my words around so that I have more variety. You'll see that different colors have more or less variety. So the yellow here had 65. This green has 75%. Orange goes down further to 61. And then you'll see red has the least amount of variety. And if I look at that section, I notice that the most common word in that area is habit. And I used that nine times. So I would go back and I would change some of the words to, to give my vocabulary a little more spice to it. There are some other neat aspects of SlickWrite. This is the statistics, and this just gives you a quick overview of everything in your writing. So here it looks at elements that contribute to the readability. So the readability is how hard or easy it is to read a piece of writing. Here it says grade seven, so that means somebody of a seventh grade reading level or below can understand my writing gives me information on my vocabulary, adverbs, gives me information on my sentences, the sentence types, and it's just a really great, great overview. Another really neat thing is the associator. So the associator will look at a particular word that you have, and then when you click on associate, it shows words that are related to it. So here you've got containing, so a book containing something, a book pocket, a book note. And this is just really fun to play around with because you can create different expressions. That's just a basic overview of SlickWrite. When you finish making all of your changes, then you can either copy and paste it back into your document, or you can save it and download it in a text file. And that's it. It's a great tool, it's simple, it's powerful, and it's fun to use. And that's SlickWrite. So go ahead and try this with your own work, and then let me know in the comments below if it helps you. And if this video helped you, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on that bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. Cheers.